Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just want to remind you guys to click the bell icon because I feel like I'm kind of late to this whole entire thing. Like sometimes with my subscriptions, I will notice that people that I actually enjoy watching, I won't have the bell icon on. So then I won't see any of their videos that they post like on my feed. So if you like my content, then make sure to hit the bell icon so you know when I upload because... I'm late to that, and I know that YouTube changed that a super long time ago, so just to remind you to hit that bell icon. And let's get into this video, and today I'm talking about my thoughts on this virus thing that is going around and that the whole world is talking about, and just to encourage you and to give you hope in this video. I follow the Patriot Nurse here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. So I forget which one that the Patriot Nurse posted, but I guess I can link that exact one, the one that I watched that I found to be encouraging, down below. She said at the end of that video, the video is like 30 minutes long, and at the end of it she said, for God did not give us a spirit of fear but of power and of a sound mind and of love and a sound mind sorry that is second timothy chapter one verse seven so for god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and a sound mind so we are not to fear what is going on around us because god is in control he wants us walking in his presence in his joy in his peace and just giving that love to others showing the love of Christ to others. And just by doing that, living in that great hope of Jesus, will it will just be an amazing testimony to other people. Just them seeing your hope in Jesus. So love your neighbors at all times and be at peace with your neighbors. Especially with this time of great turmoil and everyone trying to, uh, like, like toilet paper running out and people are kind of freaking out there and just some of the crazy videos you see online of people fighting over toilet paper it's like really come on people like love each other and uh yeah so just love your neighbor <laughs> and just also helping people out around you people who need help especially the vulnerable people the people who can't go out into the community right now like elderly people around your neighborhood help them out ask them if you can pick something up from the store for them or even people who have family members who their immune systems are very weak and compromised, ask them like, hey, do you want me to get something for you from the store? Coming together as a community, and I don't know where you're located at in the world, but it's basically going on everywhere, so wherever you are located in the world, just praying about it and asking how God can use you to help others, to love others. Another reminder is, as Christians, we know that we are living in the end of days. Jesus is coming back so soon. In the book of, it says it all throughout the New Testament, or not all throughout, but bits and pieces here and there. I think in Matthew chapter 24, it says that there will be pestilence, that there will be diseases everywhere, that there will be rumors of war, which has been going on for such a long time. Something like, and this is the beginning of many sorrows, and the one that I wanted to point out most was pestilence, and we know that in the end of days, there will be sickness, there will be disease. And I just want to encourage you to trust the Lord and that he will take care of you, he will take care of your family, and everything is done in his will for his glory. And also, something that I don't really share a lot on my channel is that last year, in 2019, I took the initiative to start prepping. <laughs> so if you want me to talk more about that, I can. Sometimes I feel awkward talking about it, because it's not really talked about a lot. But if you think about it, a lot of the government, much of the government talks about being prepared, like FEMA, the Red Cross, um, World Health Organization, they say, to be prepared. I think that every single person should have food in their home for 72 hours, and even more if you are able to do so. So if you want me to talk more about that, I can. Um, I can even show you what I have done this past year in order to, like, prep. I don't like to call it prepping because I'm not, like, I'm not prepping for the end of the world. I'm prepping for emergencies, for stuff like this, like being, if we potentially have to stay home for an extended period of time and we can't go to the store, like natural disaster, or if Caleb doesn't work for a couple months, or I don't know, like economic crash or food prices get super high and skyrocket. There's so many different reasons why it's so important to have an emergency food supply 
So if you want me to talk more about that, I can definitely make a video on that. But even if you don't have an emergency food supply, keep trusting in the Lord and praying. Praying for the world. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that it has encouraged you and that you have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Okay, bye!